Well, hello everyone, I'm Yanni from bu for You Gaming, and today we are back in Cozy Grove, and after some rearranging, I think it's about time we try and actually help out some of these spirits today. Uh, my neighbor told it, me it was by a booth table. Haha, <laughs> that is right. We should also bring out this, because otherwise I'm not gonna find those relics. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, well, definitely need to do this, so let's just get you harvested. Mm -hmm. lovely and then i just spotted a couple of things down here i actually also see this so let's do this there we go we found the box of nails oh it's that booth table again i don't know why i'm always uh, like when they say booth table i'm thinking about the ones with either the food up by Allison's or the the booth tables with the with clothing and stuff over by Valentina, but it's of course this one. Ugh. <laughs> I should really be able to remember that right now because I think it's the third time we've had uh, to go and find something down here. But at least I did find it, right? So let's uh, grab little you, a skull nestler. We do have the blue one, don't we? Yes, we do. Okay, well. Let's have you as well and just kind of do our rounds because we have a lot of people to talk to, don't we? But uh, according to Flamey, we don't really have any locks out there today. So I think it's going to be a little bit of an easier day. Don't really think I want to actually buy anything from you today. There are some deals and stuff, but nah, I think we're going to kind of take a break from that. I'm probably going to add more later. Um, yep, let's grab you. And then, oh, let's remember to bring it. Oh, yes. And we actually have a flame. So do I want to go up or down? I want to go up. Okay, so let's grab you. Always kind of just trying mainly just to get some more money coming in all the time. Mm -hmm. Okay, where is it? Over here maybe? Nope, this way. Yes. Lovely. Cool. Thank you. And this should just be part of the decor. Yes, that's just part of Clyde's decor. Um, <laughs> let's have a see you. It's kind of nice we got those gold ingots from that... Um, that... What do you call that? Um altar i guess uh, up at the campsite when we lit it right because i don't really get a lot of gold from this i think this is usually this is the one that, like the dagger rock is the one that gives sometimes give a gold ingot at least that's my impression that's where you can get it because i never got any gold from mining until i got one of these rocks so i think that's the requirement though i'm not 100 percent sure but it doesn't happen very often no it does not happen very often. Not that I really think we need gold for much, but of course we might sometimes need it for a quest, right? It's almost funny, kids. I thought I was working the system, but it turns out I was stuck on a treadmill, replaying the tape, reheating leftovers. I know what you're thinking. Pick a metaphor, Clyde, you pointless, hairy corpse. But I don't get to pick anything. I'm past tense. Aww. <laughs> Look at the face. Man, I love these faces they make. Well, I feel bad for Clyde at the moment, but I do like this little detail. Let me tell you how it all went wrong. Yes, please tell me about it. The deed was done. I devoured this stupid town. All that was left was the liquidation of certain assets, fountains, statues, etc. And then suddenly I hear this growling. I turn around. It's Valentina Oso Fisher. Miss Perfect and proper. Yet there she was, fur flying, riding a motorcycle. Had I shattered her perfect town all for the sake of profit? Naturally, was I enjoying feeling superior over everyone in town who'd ever bullied or insulted me? Quite. Did I expect that motorcycle to keep coming? Definitely not. Honestly, I don't think she expected it either. In the last couple of seconds, I had a window of opportunity. I could have jumped clear. 
But I was stuck in my tracks, like a deer, not a wolf. One thought rang out in my mind. I've never been this close to anyone in my entire life. You know, there's an expression, you can't take it with you. I had so much money, but it didn't matter. In the end, I was completely alone. Aww. There are lots of lots of morals in this game, right? Um, Aw, poor Clyde. Yep. But you probably still don't want to, even though I would like to give you a hug. I've seen you lying down to rest, catching a snooze between days. Look, I get it. Sleep, brain function, fantastic stuff. But here's a little trick I picked up in the world of business. You know, the real world. What you do is you snooze, but only 20 minutes at a time, then a half, half cup of Senka, then a 90 second met. Med as in meditation. Keep up here, kid. Transcendental, fantastic stuff. Repeat those steps the rest of the night and you are good. Unproductive sleep replaced with hyperproductive ideation. Hmm. <laughs> Hey kid, listen to this lyric. I don't care too much for money, cause money can't buy me love. Real nice, real touchy-feely, right? But kid, do you have any idea how much that song raked in? You can make a killing with that touchy-feely stuff. A killing. <laughs> nope, still won't let me. Okay, well, I was kind of hoping you would let me give me a hug, but no. Still no. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, let's grab you. And, oh, hello, little one. Oh, yep, okay. Try that again. Okay, you didn't even follow me. I thought you would follow me, but no. Aha! Got you. Acorn fly. Huh? Okay, so let's do this. And that one up there is, of course, a legendary one, which is like... Oh, okay, you got startled even though I was so far away. Okay, I'm not close enough. Oh dear. Oh no! <laughs> it was all the way over there when I actually kind of pulled the trigger on it, even though I wanted to get it here. And then, yeah, that was a miss. That was a miss. Ah, I'm never gonna get those legendary flies. I don't think that's gonna happen. Nope. Mm. Okay, so do this okay nah. well i don't know some of them are different in color like look this is more purple than the other ones i don't know if that matters at all at all at all at all okay let's try one of these fancy ones oh i missed so close and yet i missed well it's I think we are fine on the, like how far I've pulled it. I just have to get it just a tiny smidge on the other side of, there we go. Okay, now I'm aiming a little bit further up. Oh, five skips. Okay, still just some wood and some, what? Boo. <laughs> I was hoping you could get some cool items or something from it, like, you know, some special decor or something. That would be cool. Um, Maybe some clam-based decor, right? That would be kind of a cool thing if you could get that. But so far, I'm not getting anything. Maybe there is something and it's just extremely rare. I don't know. Um, Well, let's talk to you. The spirit smiles. Oh, you just want an iron ingot. Well, you can have that. The spirit cherishes your offering. Oh, we're getting all kinds of foodstuffs. Hmm. Okay. I kind of miss being able to have com com more longer conversations with them than these, like, very short, though. But, of course, that's because they are at peace. Yep. So, they are not really concerned with me anymore. Uh, anything else up here? Then, of course, we have our little campsite. Oh, let's do this. Yep, yep, yep. And then we're going to talk to the pious. 
The people of this new age know little of the emperor's greatness. With the right materials, I may spread the church's message far and wide. Oh, tin of flower pigment and softwood. Well, I do have that. Splendid, but this all shall know the name Barrus. <laughs> oh, we're getting some monies and decor and a recipe. Rare steampunk fence. Hmm. No, unique witch latch sculpture crafting recipe. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. 150 softwood and 45 GST essences. Wow. This is why I'm thinking I need to get more animals because uh, if you ever want to craft any of these things, then you're going to use up your entire supply. And then, of course, we have this steampunk fence, which is fun decor. Hmm. Okay, well, we're going to have, a, have to take a look at what it looks like, if it's something I'm thinking I want to keep or not. Uh, here we go, let's go over here. Okay. Thank you. Ooh, mining. Mining, mining, mining. Oh, have my rocks been moved? No, it's here. It is here. But remember, there was at least one rug, rug around here. Okay, I feel like there was a second one somewhere close by, but I've forgotten where it was. I have forgotten. Okay, you don't have anything for me today. Mm. I meant to do some gardening this morning, but my tools have walked off. Would you help me find them, love? It's very cool that they can walk off like that. A fallen log. One of the imps has it. Where, do, where have we seen a fallen log? Uh, on the beach, maybe? Or on, down by Francesca, potentially? Hmm. Okay. Thank you. And let's just grab you. And then, of course, have to try and bring this out. Okay, so we have a flame. Okay, maybe we have to go to the side. Okay, we're getting warmer. Okay. Try and go up. Uh, nope. Uh... Because you're standing. I think it's because you're standing where it is. Mm. Can you move, please? Because I can't see anything. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, look at that. It was right there. Just hiding bits behind Pius. Thank you. A forbidden scroll. That's a legendary one, isn't it? Uh, forbidden scroll, yes. Oh, that gives us a lot of ash. Cool. Okay, so far so good. My inventory is like completely overflowing here. So I think we're just gonna quickly go down here before we go through the other side of the map. Mm hmm. And then we are gonna put... And uh, no, that's not the one that I am hoarding. We're gonna put this away. This... Not one of the ones that I'm keeping. You, 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 you. We have these that we need to donate. Hmm? Uh, yep. Okay, you need to burn, you need to burn, you need to go there, you need to go there. Then this is a quest item, you need to be burnt. Okay. Let's do that then. Get a lot of goodies. Oh, 10 ironing is lovely. Hmm. And ashes and silver. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so I think everything else is something that we already have, right? Yes. Okay, then we have this. I wanted to see what that actually looks like. So let's try and place it here. Okay, some of them do like it. Um... Well, it looks does look cool if you're going for like ste steampunk, but it's not really something I am thinking about going for. So I think we're gonna go 
I don't think that's something. I kind of like the more natural stuff and the rustic decor, natural decor, all that jazz. Um, yeah, I don't think that's... No, no, no. Let's see. That and it only sells for 100, even though it's a rare piece. Wow. <laughs> okay, well, we are gonna try to sell all of this. 3,000. Cool. Okay, so now we have 9,000. Did I have anything else? Oh, we had to talk to Jeremy. That is right. Mm -hmm. Hand in the nails. Now those are some shiny new nails. Thanks, Maker Buddy. I can't wait to set my hammer to these. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's that 1,000 maybe? Yes. Thank you very, very much. Only two coins, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, let's go up here. And, oh, I think there was a little flame there. Okay, let's grab you, bring this, and let's see which way do we need to go. We need to go this way. Okay, Francesca doesn't have anything for us today either. Okay. Mm -hmm. There, lovely. And that was the last one, right? I think that was the last one of today. So let's grab it. Yes, it doesn't show anything more. So now we can put you away. And then we can bring this out. And oh dear. Always too slow for that. <laughs> oh, got you. Huh? Okay, so uh, actually nothing from you today. Um, and nothing in the mail. Well, there shouldn't be. There's no marker, right? Oh, hi there, Stamp Champ. You caught me on break. Was just reminiscing about some of my favorite postal memories. That's right. Even when I'm not conducting postal business, I'm thinking postal thoughts. Today's postal moment. That moment when a couple of neighbors are having a chat and I interrupt them with my delivery. And then we all chat for a bit before I move along. I get, get goosebumps. Yes, that one we have heard before, which actually reminded me of something. I didn't check the memories, did I? I don't think I checked... Um... Patrice's memories. Mm. Oh, there we go. Got that. Lovely. And uh, I think we have talked to everybody now, haven't we? I think so. I think so. So let's go here and yeah, look at all this. That I am gonna have to harvest. Hmm. Okay, fungus scrub. Yep, we're gonna grab you as well. Four eyes. And. And I'm definitely gonna do that after this video. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna have all these flowers and sell them. And then we should have money so we can upgrade our clothing straight again tomorrow. Because that should be like. I don't know. 60,000 or 80,000 or something. I don't remember how much it adds up to anymore. And then finally get all of this harvested. <laughs> Uh, which I've now skipped on twice uh, so that we can uh, also that I can I didn't mean to have that I wanted the little birdie um okay Q uh, Q there we go feet mm -hmm. and adult blood bird yes but then I'm just gonna turn most of it into a DM um, Thelma, Bones of Eldest Daughter, Cosmo, Ivory, Stuart, Fluffy, Duca, Abby. Abby is kind of cute. Let's go with Abby. Might not keep you in the long run if we get to um, hand in more animals for quests. Then I'm definitely going to try and go with the ones that we have at the other campsites. My tools, thank you so, so much. Oh, that was quick and easy. Ooh, rare medieval large potted plant. Oh, that sounds like something that might be rustic or something. Unless medieval is like... Okay, no no coins. Uh, no, it's actually fun decor. Oh, okay. Well, then we are going to go down here. Let's just grab this. And then we are going to go and check out... First, if we want to keep this, have all this stuff. 
all the time yep there we go then that's the one i'm keeping and that one yes you and you can burn you we're gonna sell okay so let's see what this looks like mm -hmm. oh didn't mean to do that oh i kind of like that it's a nice little one i don't really feel like it fits in here with all the, the rustic stuff but hmm it could be nice up at the other Side. Oh, I'm actually kind of getting an idea. What, what is this one? I'm in which antique. Hmm. Let's grab you. And then we have this one. It's actually fun decor, so not really a witchy witchy thingy. Um, kind of looking at all this. Oh, we have a couple of those. Uh, we do actually have a natural bamboo thingy right there we could potentially take. Hmm, okay, well, first of all, let's go over here, because I wanted to check out the memories, because I don't think we did that for Patrice, did we? I don't remember doing that. Uh, oh, we got all Arjun Bala's memories, but we haven't actually, and he's a forest spirit, but we haven't actually... Um, finished so i think i don't know why it does that if it's because they haven't like finished this for storyline yet, yet or why but i think we're gonna skip on checking that out because i already did that for francesca a while back i'm pretty sure it was francesca and then suddenly there were more memories so i think i'm gonna wait until they actually um you know pass on or find rest Right, but Patrice has found rest, so we're gonna check out Patrice. A dutiful postal bear, not even death can keep him from his rounds. And he is another one of the town spirits. I suspect Jeremy is probably the last one of those, so the fourth one, right? I think that would make sense. Um, and of course we can see when we met him, so that was cool. Um, Patrice Furback, the postal bear, sure is enthusiastic about being a postal worker. What's with the demonic sounding packages though? Get a little reminder here of unpacking one of these strange ones. Look at that, there's smoke and everything coming out. <laughs> yep. Patrice has taught you all about the care and feeding of imps. Apparently they're not so bad or at least they repay kindness. Patrice discovers a photo of his wife and children, whom he'd almost forgotten about. Oh, look at this. I remember this picture. Yeah, but a baseball bat and everything. Yeah. Someone is out at a baseball match, it looks like. Something about that package seemed to crack Patrice's professional composure. What's so disturbing about a soccer ball? Oh, we got another picture here. Oh, well, I think the sucker ball maybe came with a letter as well, right? Mm -hmm. And, of course, the medal. And uh, in telling the story that ended his military career, Patrice is suddenly overcome with self-loathing. There's more to the story here. Patrice recalls his squad mates who were killed in action while he was laid up with a minor injury. The survivor's guilt haunts him to this day. After his discharge, Patrice joined the Coast Grove Postal Service, but he died a sudden and premature death, which he feels he deserved. The demonic packages that tormented Patrice seems to have ceased. Instead, Patrice receives a message from his departed squad mates. This is not your fault. Thanks to you, Patrice is finally able to let go of some of the guilt he has held on to so long. His dark memory is now behind him. Patrice can fully embrace the work he so enjoys. Aww. That is good that he found peace. Mm, there we go. But man, some of those stories makes me uh, all uh, tear up, kind of. <laughs> Ooh, entomologist expert. Mm, yep. Okay. There we go. Uh, find critters 200. Wow, 5,000 old coins. Oh boy, I wonder what the next is. 800. Wow, we have to catch a lot of critters in this game. 
Ooh, yep, okay, but at least we got some more money, so that's nice. We're up to 15,000. Okay, so we have this little one. Did we have another one anywhere nearby? Oh, hello, little one. Yeah, got you. Why can I not do that when I get the legendary ones? I don't know. Uh, oh, we actually have, look at that, we have the sword and the stone over here. We've got Excalibur. <laughs> okay, let's grab you as well. A Nimby Crab. Do we have this one? No, donate to rewards. We're gonna put you. Oh, we have some stuff to donate as well. Mm, I just wanted to see. I feel like I've seen a second one of those imps. Had broken imps, but it might be a little far away, so I don't really think I want to go for that today. Oh, let's try that again. Yep. Okay, I can fly. Oh dear. <laughs> At least you just get startled and stay where you are. So that's handy. Mm, okay, you are there, right? So just want to check the kind of the nearby area because I don't want to run all over the map for it. Uh, but no, I'm not seeing any. I feel like we see you want someone. I think it's kind of at the edge of the map or something. Uh, oh no, you're right here. Or was that the same one? Uh, that's probably the same one, right? That's the same one. <laughs> yep. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We are gonna go up here. Because I was kind of thinking we could do like a little like witchy area kind of in here, right? So in between all the bushes, just need to put the uh, move them aside a little bit, I think. Mm hmm. And then we did have like a little potted plant. Um, kind of pondering if that should be something. I didn't even see what happened when I... Oh, it's common. Yes, so we don't want to put that here. No, I forgot about that. They don't like common. So we're not going to do that. This one, though, is a rare. Um, so I don't know. We can put it. We can put it up here somewhere. And add to our decor at some point. Figure out what we're going to put here. But yeah, I'm going to have to collect some stuff that is uh, not common before I do that. Mm, okay, well, we have a couple of things to hand in. And then that is it, I think. Yep, yep, yep. So let's quickly oh, go down on the beach if I can avoid getting stuck on stuff all over the place. Here we do have a few things to sell. And uh, I'm kind of hoarding these ones, but I think we're just going to sell it anyway. So sell. Sounds great. And what was this one? Oh, right. That was the witch table. Uh, and then, yep, I almost forgot. Again. Yet again. <laughs> I almost forgot the flowers. I almost did, but no. <laughs> Let's just grab this as well. I can't help myself it's hoarding all the time. Yep. And then let's see what was it actually that we bought. So, uh, we have a potted puppy and an iris. Okay, so these would be the puppies over here. Man, there's so many flowers I'm gonna have to have this. Uh, that was this one, right? So we're gonna place it. See, we already have a black one down here, so but this is apparently a different type of black. Uh, yeah, you can see the center. It has like a big, or big, but it has like a very um, clearly seen like a bluish kind of middle, whereas this one has like these little, I don't know, things going out, kind of black. So, yep, the design is different. And then we had the iris that would be down here. So I'm gonna add you into this row. Mm. And there we go. Then we have another item to uh, hand in. But look at that, it looks so pretty. It just looks so pretty. I like it. I like it with all these colors. Very nice. But let's just quickly go and hand it all in so I don't end up selling it all by mistake because I have to sell a whole bunch of flowers uh, very soon. And then of course now we have this area down here so that's probably one of the things we're also gonna miss with. Um, I'm kind of thinking, well, we are. I think we're gonna do some festival stuff down here but I'm thinking maybe we'll move the bushes down here or something. 
um, to kind of give them a little area to themselves. I think they like rustic decor though, so I might want to keep them up there because we have all the rustic decor anyway at that campsite and it kind of matches with the tent. So, uh, but then we have the other trees. So I don't know, maybe we won't actually place anything and just make this like a little, you know, pretty area. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. I change my mind all the time, all the time. Oh, that did not quite go as I wanted. Okay, every time I get ready for this, then you move. Ha, got you. Uploaded buzzer. Hmm. And then, oh, grab this. But if you guys are playing Cozy Grove, uh, oh, is that one that we don't have? And no, we have this one. There's like two or three different ones of these that have different designs or something. So I wasn't sure if that was the one we had. Um, but if you're playing this and you've had any kind of luck getting anything of interest out of these, do leave me a comment about it because so far I am only getting... What have we gotten from this? I think we got coins from one of them. And then other than that, I'm almost always getting like quartz or a little bit of wood. And that's it. Which is not the most interesting. And it doesn't matter if I have like two skips or five skips. It's it's not the most interesting stuff. Uh, so I'm kind of curious if it's just because I'm not having much luck with it. Or if I have to get more skips than f five or six or something to actually get something fancy. Or maybe that just isn't any fancy stuff to get from it. Who knows. Uh, but there we go. Let's get all of this handed in. Mm -hmm. And there. Lovely. That should give us 4,000 old coins. Oh, okay. We have... Oh, I thought it said, uh, there must have been another one. Yeah, 20 out of 60, so we are a third of the way with those. Um, then we have all the flowers. We're almost at 100, two more. I wonder if there's a batch for that, right? We have 98 out of 361, so I wonder if we're going to get a batch with the next ones. Okay, but that is it for today, hey guys. We are going to continue with this, well, likely tomorrow, because I don't want to miss Miss Caruse here. Uh, I want to check if we can actually make some more, especially of the purple stuff, or maybe I'll buy some of the other colors too. Uh, but so far, I've most, mainly have the brown stuff, right? Um, like, look at that, we have six brown options, and that was the same yesterday. So uh, we do have some green and some blue, but blue and purple so far has been fairly rare. Also want to make these, of course, but let's just wait until we have some more sparks. We're getting close. We need two more for this. And then we need, wow, we need 15. So that would be about 17. And then this one, that's 20 in total if you want to make one of each. And we only have six. Hmm. I wonder how long she's going to stay around. She will have to be around for quite a long time to get enough for the big ones. And I don't even know if it's worth it. Maybe we'll make one of the small ones just to set it off and see uh, what it actually does. If it does anything other than just maybe look pretty. Uh, there we go. Got some stuff I am going to go and sell. But anyway, that is it for today, guys. So thank you for watching. And as always, do take care and happy gaming.